or living in an apartment, and that is bugs. And if you have rodents, if you have bugs, you need my next item probably. I know we need this in our house too, because it doesn't matter where you live, they find a way to get in. So this is from Bell & Howe, it's called the Ultrasonic Pest Repeller. You get eight of these, it's an eight pack. And in a nutshell, my favorite thing about it, because there's nothing worse than finding these little creatures in a trap, or you poison them, and they come walking out into the living room all like skeletal, like they're tipping over, you know what I'm talking about? There's all weird ways that they try to kill these rodents and these bugs. Well, this is smart, because guess what? It just makes it very, very unpleasant for them, and they leave. So they don't die somewhere in your home. We had a, rat, a fruit rat once die in the wall, and it smelled literally like something was dying, yeah. and it was. Mm -hmm. So if that's ever happened to you, no more of that, Lou Caputo. That's right. We're I here think to this stop is that from a brilliant happening. Yeah. idea. It's almost like kinder and gentler. Oh, no, right? it is. Somebody it is. else has to deal with yeah. it because they're not coming to your house. No, this is the humane way to rid your home of pests, yes. and I love that about these. So specifically, we're talking about the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, and the <laughs> spiders that <laughs> find your way into your house. And people always ask me, why do you guys only say these five things? Well, the reason is it's really expensive to get the testing. Yeah. So they take the five species that people have the most problems Makes with. Sense. Okay. So Bell & Howell have been around for over 110 years. They have a lot of experience with audio. And I say that because you remember they used to make projectors, oh, okay? Yeah. And film recording devices. Well, guess what? These are tiny little speakers. What they actually do is they put out a sound wave at a higher frequency than we can hear. So it's oh. ultrasonic sound. Okay. Uh, you won't hear it, your kids won't hear it, your pets won't hear it, but these guys do. The rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders. Now the funny thing is we have no idea what it sounds like to them, but I want you to just kind of picture this in your mind. You walk walk into your house, you set off your alarm Oof. by accident, and that siren's going off, and you can't remember the code. Right. Okay? <laughs> you can only That's take it for worst. a little while, and then you have to leave, right. right? And then your poor pets are losing their minds. Exactly. Right? The dogs are barking their brains out. You're right. freaked out. You gotta get out. Right. That's what happens to the pests. They want to leave the environment but, where these but are. But the dogs and cats... They can't hear it. And birds... Nope. ...don't hear it. Can't hear it. It's at a much higher frequency than our domesticated animals can Got hear, it. okay? Okay. So, here's the thing. You wanna have one in every single room in your okay. home. And you and I were talking about this before yep. the show, because since it's a sound wave, it's going to echo, it's gonna reverberate off of any solid surface. So if you have it in a room, it's gonna echo off the walls, the doors, I mean, got anything it. in there. So you need one for every room. But it won't go through walls, We'll not go through the walls. Got it. So We've got eight of them here. That's probably enough for the average one-story home. Maybe even part of your second story. It just depends on how many rooms you have. Yeah. But you do want one in every single and room. And we just plug it into the outlet. Any outlet. Okay. And it starts working immediately. That's, now, the interesting thing that's is... easy. It was simple. There's no installation here. You no. plug it in. Nothing ever to do Could afterwards. Can I put it in the garage? Can I plug one in the garage? Um, I recommend you put it in the garage. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. It's the largest opening into your house. Right. That big door goes I'm up. I'm thinking it's about that. It's a big welcome sign. Yeah. You so know, yeah, you want to put Seriously, you guys, if you deal basement. with any of this, mm -hmm. any unwanted rodents or, you, you see, I mean, mice and rats and ants. In Florida, you know, they have these lovely little bugs. Yes. They call them palmetto bugs. I like how you said they were little. <laughs> right, they're not. It's like they're the size cockroaches. Of a they're cockroaches, but they're like, oh, yeah. that's just a palmetto like bug. I'm like, what? They're horrible. Yep. I mean, really, they're they're huge. Yeah. But they they don't. They're like, oh yeah, those are palmetto bugs. They just show up on your kitchen counter, yeah. and then like, mm. oh, and then they have fruit rats. Uh. <laughs> These things are hideous, and yeah. they're huge. It's a rat they, that likes fruit. Fruit. Still and a if rat. You, if we have we have fruit trees, we have yeah. you know le lime tree, and we have a You're lemon have tree. You're gonna have a problem. We the, they they come You're and eat. You're gonna have a problem. Exactly. I had a fruit rat one time drop off of a tree onto my roof and find his way in through my uh, attic and ate my air conditioning lines. Oh, is okay, that lovely? Went right through them. <laughs> and I had pest control at the time. And we do too. Yeah. But I told Lou, same Won't thing. Stop this was only like a month and a half ago. Right. A fruit rat came in through the vent for the the, the dryer. Yeah, 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 that's right. We were talking about that. It goes outside, came yeah. in through the dryer vent. Any opening will do. And he was stuck in the laundry room. So of course, you know, I'm not going near that laundry room. So Carlos puts the traps out. Sure. You know, I don't want to see the thing in oh. the trap. Let's that talk about horrible. that. Let's talk about that for a second because see, our, our instinct, if you don't know about the ultrasonic technology, your instinct is go to the store and buy stuff. Right. Okay, we have to buy a solution. So let's look at some of the things that we have. I'm gonna put this down on the table because for instance, if you have ants, you can go to a store and spend a ton of money just to get rid of ants, and you've gotta buy stuff specific for the ants. So we've got granules, and we've got little traps in here. We've got liquids and potions and bombs and things you right. can set off in the house. But the problem with all this stuff is, as this wears off, you gotta replenish it. 
You know, the, the pests come back. You've got to go no, out and buy more. But also, they're going to die in your home. Yes. That happened to us. We've it, had them, like, happen. die in the wall. And then it's like something smells like, literally like something That's... died. And it did. Or my mom had yeah, put the good. poison out for the mice. Sure. And then they, like, dehydrate them. Yeah. And then this little decrepit little mouse came waddling out from yeah, behind yeah, yeah. the, I don't poor, know what. Poor, my poor mom is freaked out because the, the mouse is basically like a skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to deal with that. No, and that's oh. not, and it's not, you mean, well, I mean, for instance, all right, so if you if you bought stuff for ants, let's say. Okay. Okay. And then you see that you've got roaches, you can't use the ant stuff. Now you gotta go spend more money. <laughs> and you gotta buy saying. the roach stuff. And look at all the things you can get for the roaches, but the same things apply here. When this, when it wears off, they come back. When you run out of yeah. it, you buy more. Now you were and talking you know about- what else? You have pets, you have babies, well, you have little ones. You don't want these poisons around. This right here, that's the ultimate basket of death right there, because this is the stuff for rats and mice like you were just talking okay. about. Okay. So here's your poison, this green stuff. It looks like yeah. my dog's favorite little chew toys yeah. right there, okay? Uh, here's your classic mouse traps. If you've ever never, if you've never baited one of these it's a trick okay it's right. not easy to do you can trap your own self in you there. can and you're right about the smell like if you kill them somebody's got to deal with the carcasses if you Ooh. just get the bell and hell pest repellers right now and plug these in you don't need any of this and not only that but we'll also get rid of spiders and there's nothing here for spiders I'm so I, I just hope my husband's watching this we are so doing this by the way here's the deal 2300 sold there's 1900 left if you want it you need to jump in here you get all eight that's eight rooms in your home yeah. in your garage if yep. you have an outlet in the attic you can put one in the attic, basement. wherever you want to put it. Basement, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And guys, for a $36.95, you can try it. Get it home and try it for $18.48. Give it 30 days. See how you like it. You're not going to notice it's there. It makes no noise for us. Your nope. pets won't be bothered by this. You won't be bothered by this. You don't have poisons around. We had a scare with my son's dog. We thought oh, he no. got into the rat poison yep. at my husband's warehouse. That was really scary. Like her, My son had to take right. him to the emergency. He was fine. But the truth is, you don't want your pets around these poisonous things. You don't want to have to worry about that. Exactly. I mean, that's, you know, that's the problem, too, is like if you're using the Bell and Howe pest repellers, that would never even be a consideration. Right. You'd never have to think about, oh, my God, did the worry dog free. get... Now, you see what we're seeing right here? Look at that little red dot right there, okay? That red dot, that LED, is the only way you know that this is working because you can't hear it. But that is an indication that every time that goes off, every time you see that, it's emitting an ultrasonic pulse into the house. And I'll tell you something, Holly, this time of year right now, we're coming out of the spring, we're coming into summer. It was a wet spring. It's been yep. a very wet spring, which means we're gonna have a lot of pests because when the water rises, they wanna come indoors. And notice the way that Good sound point. wave is echoing off of every solid surface. I'll give you a little tip too. Don't put them behind furniture. Oh. People's inclination is, oh, because it'll block? I want to hide this. Because you want these waves You bouncing. want the sound waves to go out there. So if you put it behind a piece of furniture, a desk, or you put it behind a couch or something, it's going to muffle the sound. Got you it. want that sound to travel. Now, Good somebody tip. sees this yeah. sitting in your living room, they know you have a pest problem. They see this <laughs> in the living room, they're not really thinking about that. You're okay? Right. It's, it's a much less obtrusive way, <laughs> you know, unobtrusive you know way to, to get me, rid of them. it is a complete no-brainer. I mean, all that I poisonous, all that other stuff where, again, you're killing them. This is a kinder, gentler approach. It's a yes, smarter, humane. safer, and frankly, more affordable approach. It is. This is eight rooms in your home for a mere $36.95. And by the way, we are very busy here with everybody ordering. There's a few more than a thousand of these. They really should all sell out. Because like you said, yeah. this is the time of year. This is it. Just yesterday mm -hmm. in the kitchen, I had, you know, just cleaned up the kitchen and back kind of had a little fruit bowl there and there was yeah. a little something spilled there and there were all these ants. I'm like, where the heck did those ants come from? Yeah. I mean, that was like within a, an hour. Oh, they Suddenly know. I've got all these little ants on my countertop. Yeah, they like, know what? when you spill stuff. Well, I, I think about <laughs> they this do though. Know. So if you buy all these poisons and things, what are you doing? You're reacting because you've seen you're ants right, or problem. you've seen roaches. <gasps> Here's yeah, the problem, but if you is, see them, oh, this is proactive. Yes. We're proactive. Oh. The Bell and Hell pest repellers are proactive. This is reactive. So by the so time smart. you use this stuff, you've got an infestation. Exactly. You see one roach is probably this, this keeps the problem at bay. Keeps the problem at bay. Stops right? you from ever getting to that, yes. problem, that state. They don't come in. No. They don't like your house. If they, they don't want to hang out with you. Well, if they do come in, they leave pretty quickly. I bet. Because <laughs> you know, this is the analogy. People always ask me, like, well, you know, is it gonna? Are they just gonna leave immediately? Give it a day or two, and here's why. If you've ever gone someplace and they're playing really bad music really loud, right. you can sit there for a little while and put right. up with it, maybe till your drink's finished, but then, <laughs> exactly. but then you want to leave. There. That's the same thing with the pest. You know, you got food in your house, you've got air conditioning, you've got yep. water, all these things they want, 
but the sound makes right. them leave. So they uncomfortable. Want to get out. Right. So you know what? I would jump in. 2,500 gone. There's 1,600 left, but with everybody ordering, literally probably about a thousand of these to go around. I would get. I am getting them. I have to show Carlos. He'll be like, okay, why? Why wouldn't you? It's do science. It? Why wouldn't why you want to use wouldn't science? Wouldn't you do it? it right. It is science. It is. That's and it. that's the thing about this. People don't understand. Yes, we've had the poisons and the traps and all that stuff for years, but to use sound, it's basically aversion therapy. We're teaching them not to come in because it's an unpleasant sound. It's a bad <laughs> feeling. It's disorienting for them. We just want them. I don't want to kill them. I just want them to go someplace else. Me too. You know what I mean? It's like Stop. our little dog, our little chihuahua. We yes. a little bark collar. And the bark collar is not a shock or anything, right. but it makes a really terrible noise when he yeah. barks. Right. So guess what? He has I, him bark. All I have to do now is hold up the collar. And he's like, barking stops immediately because yeah. he understands he doesn't want to have this weird, yeah. buzzy, he's made crazy the noise. Yeah. And that's the same thing here. This is a wonderful, kinder, gentler way. It really gives is. Gives you peace of mind. And like you said, do it, this is a deterrent, first of all. Right. But if they do come in, they're not going to be happy and they are going to leave and go to the neighbors and yeah. hopefully your neighbor will figure this out. Yeah, and they'll too. do it themselves. Well, and what's interesting about this too is people, we get this kind of feeling like we're impervious to these sort of things. Like in other words, you have a brand new home, right? It was just built and you think, you know what? My house is brand new. I'm never going to get pests. Here's the thing. If you live in a new construction, right? It's right. some new construction. They've been tearing the ground up all around where you live to build all these new buildings. That's destroying the habitat of the pests. Oh. So you probably have more of a likelihood. Same thing if you live in a city and you're in a high rise building and people think, oh, I'm on the 26th floor and they're never gonna get me. Right. They use the pipes <laughs> and the electrical system in the building like a super highway to go it's anywhere true. that they want. It's true, and you Nobody have shared walls. Impervious. So if your neighbor that has above you, below stuff in you, there, next to you. they're gonna come next door right. easier, right. right? Right, you could be the cleanest person in the world, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Because you've got people all around you if you live in an apartment building. Exactly. You don't know what your neighbors are doing. Well, see, that's the thing is that I consider I'm very tidy and my home is very tidy and we right. still deal with this. We deal sure. with these fruit rats get in. Everybody does. Right? They do. The ants, the thing. I mean, we're going to sh show you again the five that they the five species. tested. And it probably yep. does more than that, but these are the ones they've actually we tested. We get phone calls about that all the time, but we can guarantee that ants, these are going to be effective against rats, spiders, mice, ants, roaches, and spiders. Hate and spiders. it's in the localized area in which these are working, which means you need one in every room. That's it. Yeah. And you get a total bait. So you might want to get Eight. a two pack of this if you want to get two yeah. and get 16 depending on how many rooms you have in your home you know just count real quickly yeah. and what if you have um like a big open concept home like a lot of people don't have you know they have just huge rooms i tell no people walls. if you've got an oddly shaped room like an l shape or something maybe get two put one at one end okay. and one at the other one okay. but otherwise if it's a wide open room one i'm getting mine yep Thank you, Lou. You're very welcome. Outstanding. My pleasure. Thank okay, you. if you're ordering, there's fewer than a thousand of these left. So stay right there. I'll let you know if they sell out. That was perfect. Oh. Fantastic. Thanks. I enjoyed that. Okay.